The feed-in tariff is a financial incentive to encourage public uptake of clean energy. Under the scheme, energy companies are obliged to pay domestic customers significantly more than the market price for electricity they produce with their solar panels. So, with a solar system installed, you'll earn 41.3 pence for every unit of energy you generate, and that's even if you use the power in your home. Energy you don't use is sold onto the grid, netting you an additional 3p per unit on top of the 41.3 pence. The best bit is that this rate is guaranteed, along with the solar panels, for 25 years. So what do owners of solar systems think of the scheme? The way the feed-in tariff works is quite interesting. And I must admit, when I first looked at it, I hadn't really appreciated how it works. But what it is, is that you actually are paid uh, an amount per kilowatt, irrespective of whether you use it or whether you export it. So simply by having the system there generating electricity, you get paid 41 pence per kilowatt. And although you do need to buy electricity as normal after dark, the feed-in tariff payments owners receive mean the numbers add up better than ever before. Under the new feed-in tariff, that's um, going to generate about uh, 1,200, pounds income off the roof, uh, which seemed a good investment to me. might not be energy self-sufficient, but we should be uh, money self-sufficient because the surplus will more than cover the gas bill and damn it, the water bill. <laughs> And the sooner you join, the better, because the rate you receive for the generation payments will go down in future years of the scheme. So it makes sense to sign up now. The system we have cost about £9,500, and we will be paid each year about £900. So that would be equal to a return of about 9%. Um, and I suppose the other way to look at it is, after about 10 or 11 years, we will have got our money back by having £900 each year for 10 years. And for the remaining 15 years, every unit you generate is pure profit. I'm getting a 10% return on my investment, as opposed to leaving it at the bank where I get 1 or 2% that's uh, index linked, tax free and guaranteed for 25 years. So it just seemed a brilliant financial investment. The other thing is actually the value of the system. I mean, it always remains on the roof of your house. So when you, if you come to sell your house, for instance, you can ask for a premium on the price of the house because the system's there. We got an estate agent round after the installation and he's uh, quoted that it raised the value of the house by 6 to 8%. So we're really pleased with that. Meanwhile, at Will Anderson's solar-powered home in London, his energy costs are likely to make you go green with envy. We don't have any bills. I mean, we just get checks from the energy company, which is, at a time when energy prices are going up, is obviously quite nice. Don't want to be too smug about this. You know, it's not why we did it, but now that we've got it, it's nice. If you've got a bit of spare cash, which you're thinking about using on this, but you're not sure, I would say invest. I think it's a very good deal uh, if you look at it coldly in terms of getting a return of around 9%, which at the moment is tax-free. And certainly I think if, if you are ecologically minded, then it feels good to have done something like this. I guess you got the warm green feeling about it, but it would be dishonest to say we did it for any other reason other than the economic benefits of the feed-in tariff. Even if your, your interest is not an ethical interest uh, about lowering your carbon footprint, if it's, if it's more about saving money, then. I really do see it as a worthwhile investment. If you're interested in finding out more, please visit solarcentury.co.uk and pop in your postcode for an instant estimate of the cost and profit you can make from solar electricity.